Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, not too long ago, I had a request to do another video on how to sew on a treadle machine. Now, I do have a couple of them out, but I'm hoping that with this video, now that we've done a little bit of rearranging in this great room of ours, that I might be getting better lighting so that you can see the foot action a little better. Um, we've done, so those of you who are been with me for a while, you might notice my sewing corner is looking a little bit different. I have a desk over here now. This desk used to be in another part of this X dance room, martial arts room that we are slowly converting into just a great room that will be good for entertainment, uh, extra dining space and, um, and workspace for me to make my soaps and have a really nice sewing corner. So we'll eventually do, uh, a, a uh, we'll eventually show you the whole thing once we have it all done and fixed up, but um, so far this is working out really good for me. But in the process, my sewing machine is moved over now, so it's, it's almost directly in front of the sliding glass door. And so I should, you should have better light of me and of the subject as uh, a result. So what I've got going on here is I have an order for, um, I got an order for 24 of my homemade cloth feminine napkins with the organic bamboo lining. And um, so I'm I've been working on this order along with a bunch of skirt orders. So I'm gonna go ahead and be sewing on this napkin right here that I've got going on. And I'm gonna start by showing you how this happens on the top side. All right, so those of you who, who are new, this is a genome treadle machine. It was bought brand new as a treadle mach machine. So yes, there are companies out there that do make brand new treadle machines. You don't have to buy a used one. Though I love the beauty of the older classic models of treadle machines. The, um, I like the genome because I've got a lot more stitch, um, because I've got my zigzag stitch and I've got the reverse. And these are the things I use quite a bit. Um, I don't use any other fancy stitches than that, but this does also have the buttonhole settings on it. So I will link to this machine below. I did buy it on Amazon, so I'm going to link to this very machine if you are interested. Um, then the only thing you need to find is your table. This one was given to me by my mother-in-law. And so you got to have the table to go with the machine so you have something to hook to. And I'll show you that below but starting with how it works on the top. Now this will apply even if you're using an antique model. Your antique model usually has a nice big wheel here. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller, but it still works the same way. So once you get your feet placement down, which again, I'll show you that after I show you this first, the, before you actually start pedaling with your feet, you have to get a good spin or spin in the right direction. It doesn't have to be a good hard spin, it, but you do have to get a, a spin on your wheel up here to make sure that it will go in the right direction because you do not want it to turn this way. If you just start pedaling, it can turn one way or the other, and if it turns the wrong way, you can, you're gonna break your thread and very likely your needle as well. So um, at every time you start sewing, you gotta get this turn on here. And I'll explain one, what's going on up here in a minute. Let me do this first. So I put the spin on and I start pedaling. It's getting the timing down right. Oops, I forgot to set this on zigzag. So I'll go back up. Okay, so it's about, it's kind of like learning how to drive a clutch. It's getting the timing down right with the clutch and the gas. It's the same thing with this. So you put the spin on and as you're spinning, you start, you start pedaling. If you wait until after the spin and start pedaling, it's too late and then you got to put the spin on again. So you spin and just as I get my hand to here, I start pushing with my foot. Okay, and then I sew. Now if I want to do reverse, I've got to keep pedaling, hit the reverse button, and then come back. And I always do that, usually when I'm starting a stitch, I'll do my reverse. And this is kind of noisy, I should probably turn this off. So let me explain this real quick. Now, I have, we have a video where Patrick made this little, this little add-on 
This is separate. This did not come with the machine because I started buying this great thread and I'll link to this thread below. I really, really like it. It's a good buy and you get a whole bunch of thread for just a really good price and it's a decent thread. It's not super cheap. Um, like this stuff here is a little bit cheaper um, and I have to put it on upside down. This is the thing that came with it, but this was too tall to fit on the original thing. So he had, he made me this. Well, as a result, now I can put some of other types of thread and actually have bob, a bobbin winding while I'm sewing. So that's pretty cool. So I'm winding this while I'm sewing, but for the sake of the video, I forgot about this. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so that we're not having extra noise. So anyway, I'm gonna start this again. You'll see the spin. So, and as you can see, I can actually, this is a tight zigzag, and I can actually sew pretty quick. I can sew just as quick on this machine. Actually, I wanted this tighter than that, as I can on the electric. I'm very, very pleased with the Dronome treadle machine, and at this point, I would never go back to an electric machine. So now what I'm gonna do, well, let me get this started one more time so you can see the spin. I wish I could show you both the hand action and the foot action at the exact same time, but you have to kind of find your rhythm on your own anyway. So spin, sew, and every time you stop, you have to do that spin again. All right, so there's the treadle. I'm trying to get my skirts out of the way here. There's the pedal. And how I do this, and it's, it may be different if you're left-handed, you may need to put your left foot forward farther. For me, I'm right-handed, so I put my right foot forward. And the reason that is, is typically, if you're right-handed, you're going to have a stronger right leg. And if you're left-handed, you're gonna have a stronger left leg. So if you're left-handed, you may consider trying it with your left foot forward a little bit farther. But most of us are gonna do right foot is gonna be a little farther forward than the left. So let me take my shoes off so you can see my feet a little bit better on here, my crazy socks here. Um, so just like this is the placement, right foot, left foot. So when I start sewing, I put the spin on, here's me putting the spin on the machine, on the treadle up here. And just as I spin it, I start pushing forward with my right foot. My skirts are still kind of in the way here. Okay, so again, let me back it up. Now, spin forward and then I push back with the left. Okay, I put the spin on forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So I'm pushing forward with the right foot, with the ball of the right foot, and back with the heel of the left foot. And so both feet are working. Um, you could do it this way with the feet perfectly side by side, if that's more comfortable for you. However, I find you're just gonna have better control with one foot forward, your lead foot and then your your weaker foot in the back so again here's my spin whoops usually i like to start it with the with the pedal all the way back like this now i spin pedal gotta get that timing down i'm gonna stop again here's my spin pedal okay and let me do it one more time spin whoops Spin, pedal. And you just keep pumping, and again, every time you stop, you're going to have to put the spin on the wheel up here before you start pedaling. So one more time. And then the faster you pedal, the faster you sew. And then you can go as slow as you need to. You're going around some tricky areas where you just need to take a little bit more time. And if you're doing a, a long straight stitch, it's nice to be able to pedal fast. You will find though, when you start pedaling that fast and you've got a real long stitch to do, you'll, you will feel it. 
You'll feel the burn in your legs and you'll get a little bit winded and it's great. All right, so even though I took my shoes off for that, it was so you can see my feet a little bit better because you know the, the light colored socks were stand out a little bit better than the black shoes against the dark background. Um, it is more comfortable to wear shoes when doing this. It can be done barefoot, sock foot, I've done it before, but it's just not as comfortable. And I feel that I have better control and can move a little bit faster when I have uh, sneakers of some sort on. And so um, anyway, uh, I hope that helped give you an idea of how this works. Now, more about the sewing machine itself. If you have yet to purchase a treadle machine, be it an old or a new one, the new one will come with a belt. Um, I have since had to replace the original belt one time. They will last a year to two years before you have to replace them, depending on how much you sew, maybe even longer if you don't sew that much. I'm sewing all the time. And so, um, but even so, I only have to replace the belt about every two years. And um, I do have a video on how to do a belt replacement. So I will link to that one too, right up here. So you can find out how to put a belt on because it can be a little bit tricky um, especially if you don't have a, any instructions on how to thread it through the machine. Now this particular table and this machine don't fit perfectly together. Okay, so right here, you see this piece here? Normally it should be sitting flush with this, but because this machine has a funny little part on it that maybe your uh, older machines won't have, it, um, we had to have this pushed down because this part here will move in order for this to sit in here properly. So if you have to do that, no big deal. This has been like this for years and it's no problem. And you can see right here where the belt goes through this hole and there's another hole over here. So again, if you get the genome and it doesn't fit on your table right and you do this, no big deal. Just go ahead and let that push down and, um, yeah, you shouldn't have any issues with it. I haven't. We've been sewing on this for on this for like five years and no issues. All right, so if you have any other questions about this machine and how to use it or just how to use a treadle machine in general, um, go ahead and comment below and I will try to get back to that either in a future video or if I get a chance to comment um, to answer back to each question as you ask them. Um, Again, I have more videos that you can look up on how to use a treadle machine. And uh, there was one more thing. Oh, and I will also be linking not only to the Genome treadle machine, which I link to in pretty much every video I put up, but also to the replacement belts that I buy. You have to be careful because one time I tried to purchase a whole roll of this stuff and the company the place that I ordered it from sent me a piece this big, which obviously is not big enough to even make one belt. And it should have been enough to make four or five belts um, for as much as I was ordering. And um, so then I just bought individual links instead of buying a whole roll again, because I didn't want that happening again, because they wouldn't refund my money. I kept trying and trying and finally Amazon made it right. That's why another reason I like Amazon is if the people that you deal with aren't gonna make it right, Amazon will. And I did get my money back on that. So I ordered these, they're only a couple dollars a piece. However, the shipping is more, but what it, but the price turns out to be about the same as if you were to buy one at a, he, at a higher price with free shipping. So I'll link to the, the ones I get below. I've been happy with them, no issues. Um, they all come with their own little hook and you'll understand how that works when you go watch my, um, how to replace a, a belt video that I linked up above there. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, thanks for your questions. Thanks for the suggestion on making another video. And um, I hope you have better lighting so you can see my feet acting a little bit better. All right, so thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.